Hey, Sam. Greg, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Oh, you know, just chilling. Are you are you on the show today? Nope, nope, nope. Came by to see my idol. Well, wow. Well, hello to you. <laughs> Not you, Craig. Dick Van Dyke. Oh, yeah, you know, sure. He's he's cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Craig, for sure. Bye-bye, Birdie. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Jim, Jim, and Jim, Jim, and Hey, 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 hey. Jim, Jim. I'm singing here, okay? <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson is singing. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I thought I just thought I'd help you out. Oh, you thought I didn't actually know the words? Like, I mean, I just told you, Dick Van Dyke is my dude. No, no. But you thought I didn't know the lyrics to Jim Jiminy? No, no, I, I, I mean, help out, like, harmonize, you know? Oh, harmonize! Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, oh, like, we the Righteous Brothers now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're my soul and my inspiration. I, the See? I thought, no way, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, dude. I'm all flustered now. I, I can't go in and meet Dick Van Dyke in this state. You know, he'll think I'm a... <laughs> Keep this for me, please. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Craig, it's a sculpture of Dick Van Dyke made of cheese Whiz. What do you mean? You used to be so cool. Now you're just a big old... <laughs> okay, well, maybe not so big. Completely genuine enthusiasm, please. That's enough of it. Not too much. I'm feeling a bit sick. I've just eaten a huge head of Dick Van Dyke made of. That's a lot of cheese whiz. A lot of people don't know how enormous Dick Van Dyke's head is. It's huge. You'll find out later in the show. But we had to, we had to put a special door in the studio so that we could, so Dick could get in. <laughs> hey, guess what? Well, I'll tell you. Okay, then go then. It's a great day for America. That's what it is. <laughs> and, and, and not only a great day for America, also a great day for Scotland. Why? Well, I'm still not there. Congratulations, Scotland. <laughs> No, scientists in Scotland say they've, they're close to, this is true, they're inventing, for real, the Harry Potter invisibility cloak. <laughs> I don't really know what the big deal is, though. If you want to make a Scotsman invisible, you give him a talk show on CBS at 12.30, you'll never hear from him again. No kidding. Exactly. <laughs> Very sad news tonight, though. Uh, Eugenie Blanchard, the world's oldest woman, passed away uh, aged 114. And so the curse of the world's oldest woman continues. <laughs> it seems like as soon as they get the title... <sighs> <laughs> Somewhere tonight, there's a 113-year-old woman going, Oh, no! Anyway, uh, you know that uh, President Obama is getting a le a ready to leave Washington. I don't mean for good. He'll be doing that in a couple of years. But he's going to... <laughs> I'm only...
really basing it on what I saw this week, that's all. Anyway, I mean, he's getting ready to go to India for the weekend. He's going to India to um, win back American jobs in the tech support industry. And <laughs> the president will be in India all weekend. He, he, uh, you, can't, you can't take your animals there, so he'll be leaving his little pooch at home. When he gets back, the curtains in the Oval Office will be chewed up. There'll be poop all over the floor. <laughs> you cannot leave Joe Biden alone for a minute. <laughs> anyway, don't, don't. <laughs> I sometimes think you start clapping just so I'll stop talking. <laughs> stop talking for a minute! <laughs> anyway, Republicans are angry about the India trip costing so much money. You know, but when the President travels anywhere, it's going to cost a lot of money. It's not like the President of the United States and just crash in a college dorm. <laughs> Although Clinton did try it. <laughs> been to India, though. I'd like to go, though. It's one of the world's fastest-growing democracies. Uh, do we have a map of India? Let's have a look. See where there, India, Carnegie Delhi right there. Uh, and then New Jersey, see aboard. Oh, Jennifer Aniston up there. Yeah, it's very, very unstable region. <laughs> Anyway, India is famous for its Darjeeling tea. And I'm thinking, well, after this week, the president won't be interested in tea parties of any kind, as far as I... But uh, 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 the Indian food, though, is awesome. I've always loved it. Growing up uh, uh, where I lived in Scotland. Oh, yeah, you didn't know? Yes. I, uh... <laughs> The best local food was India, because Scotland, uh, Glasgow, where I come from, is a huge Indian population, and I lived near uh, great Indian restaurants. I would eat, you know, I wouldn't eat Indian food at home. At home, we would eat traditional Scottish fare, you know, gravel. Um, <laughs> gravel, mud, bitterness. More, please. Yeah. You know, what they don't eat a lot of in India, though, is the hamburgers, because cows are sacred. <laughs> yeah, you can't have a hamburger. They're used for milk, but they're not eaten. People milk their cows in the morning and then just, oh, off you go. <laughs> the, I would have a difficult time with that, because I love hamburgers very much. I feel the cows would taunt me. <laughs> hey, you want a piece of this? <laughs> well, you can't have it. A rubbing barbecue with sauce on themselves. <laughs> you like that, don't you? The little hooves. <laughs> anyway, I doubt President Obama. He, he, won't, he won't have any uh, time for hamburgers or sightseeing when he's in India, which is too bad because the Taj Mahal's in India and it's named one of the new seven wonders of the world. It's spectacular. Not as spectacular as the Taj Mahal Casino in Atlantic City. <laughs> which is owned by Donald Trump, whose hair has also been named one of the seven wonders of the world. People are wondering what the... It is! Uh -oh. <laughs> That's right, take that, Trump's hair. It's never been attacked on late night television before now. Craig, that's a controversial stance. You've said something about Donald Trump's hair. Yeah, well, somebody had to say it. Uh, what else is in India? Oh, the Kama Sutra. Oh, yes. Oh! Oh, yeah. The Kama Sutra is the ancient encyclopedia of sexual positions. It has them all. It's got uh, man on top, women on top. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, man on top, women on top. Oh, yeah, well, man on his own. I know that one. <laughs> man on the internet. Uh, crying. <laughs> Uh, the Kama Sutra was developed by a sect of Hindus. So many Hindu temples in India have the Kama Sutra sculptures carved on the outside of the walls. Very explicit carvings, like big stony porn. <laughs> by the way, big stony porn was the name I wrestled under for a while. In your pants. That's right. I think the Kama Sutra would have to be uh, developed uh, in India. It could never be from America because we've got too many lawyers. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the minute someone get injured doing one of these sexual positions, they'd sue. You'd get sued for it. I don't know much about your big city ways, but where I come from, we put tab A and slot B. Now, I don't know. <laughs> Man on top, woman on top, man on his own. That leaves 997. <laughs> <laughs> it's commercial break time. Spots, Craig? Yes, commercial break spots. Shall we meet some fine advertisers? <laughs> yes, all right. <laughs> We have to take a break for some commercials, but the good news is we have a fantastic show. Not tonight's show. <laughs> but coming soon. To a region near you. <laughs> Actually, that coming to a region near you means it's not coming to your house. It's coming to a house near your house. So someone in your neighborhood will be seeing a good show, but clearly it's not you tonight. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm just noticing that the uh, warm-up comedian tries to get the audience nice and cooled off before you come back. <laughs> He was like, quiet, everybody, quiet, we're coming back. We're coming back from a commercial break. I'm like, oh, that's gonna look great. We're never doing the come back. Like... <laughs> hey, do you know that little sketch at the start of the show where uh, Sam Jackson and I were doing that? <laughs> well, you know, people say sometimes when we do that, Craig, do you rehearse those? And I'm like, no. But I found out they actually do rehearse them. The interns, so they can get the lighting as spectacularly good as it is. <laughs> what they do is they get the interns to rehearse the sketch. So I got them to record it today so we could have a look at how the interns interpret it. <laughs> I know! Ain't I a thinker? All right, intern rehearsal theater. Let's have a look. Intern Rehearsal Theater. Sketches on the show are not rehearsed by real people. Instead, we use unpaid interns who are expendable in case anything goes wrong. Well, hello to you. Uh, not you, Craig. Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, he's cool, too. I mean, come on, Craig. Bye Bye Birdie, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Mary Poppins. Chim Chimini, Chim Chimini. Chim Chim Chiri. Uh... Intern Rehearsal Theater. I know it was better. <laughs> it was, it was better. That was uh, Joseph Bolter and Heather Lee, who I've never met. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Tweets and emails are up next. Oh, my nipples are erect. Do it. <laughs> Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. No one about a day to day. Who's at the door? Wait, wait, who can this be? Oh, my God! It's awesome. <laughs> All right, this is from Deborah in Arlington, Virginia. Uh, Deborah says, Hey, Craig, you haven't said anything about the winner of Project Runway. What do you think about the judge's decision? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Gretchen should never have won. It should have been Mondo. <laughs> Mondo. 
All right, this is from Kate in Algonquin, Illinois. <laughs> It says, Dear Craig, I just want a round trip plane ride anywhere in the US. Where should I go? Well, back where you start. In your pants. <laughs> I've ruined Christmas yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> I'll walk over there and I'll pull that -la -la. thing right out of the island. <laughs> Love the robot. I love Secretary <clears throat> Do you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to see Secretary included in River Dance. <laughs> Are you watching Michael Flatley? Yes, I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is from Amanda in Kansas City in Missouri, who says, uh, Dear Craig, do you ever get nervous before a show? <laughs> no. Sometimes I get nervous during a show. I'm really mad at you, you bony bastard. Shut the front you door. You shut the front door. You shut the front door. Shut the front door. You shut door. the front door. Shut the you front door. You shut the door. front door. In your pants. In your pants. In dance. your pants. All right, this is from Kenny in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> uh, this is from Anne in Anchorage, Alaska. I don't know if you can see this, but Anne is, in fact, a full-grown chicken. <laughs> With pretty impressive typing skills. <laughs> Anne says, uh, Dear Craig, on a first date, what's the safest thing to order? Should I be concerned with the price? <laughs> no. Order the most expensive thing you can think of. You should order a car. <laughs> then you know if he's genuinely interested. <laughs> I'd like a car, but, but, we've just met. A car. <laughs> Get this lady a car. Yeah. All right. We have to take a break. When we come back, Dick Van Dyke, everybody! by interns. <laughs> hey, they get a college credit. It's more than I get for doing this crap. Uh, my first guest tonight is a show business icon. He's in a new show, A Step in Time, or Step in Time, not A Step in Time. There's probably more than one. I don't know. He can tell us about it when he comes out. Anyway, it's called Step in Time, a musical memoir, which opens December the 8th at the Geffen Playhouse in Los Angeles. He's also the star of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, which is now available on Blu-ray and DVD. <laughs> Take a look at this. What an unusual car. Daddy made it. Oh, and it actually goes. It's called Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's a curious name for a motor car. But that's the sound it makes. Listen. Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, you, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. We love you. Chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, 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 bang
future in show business it almost <laughs> it almost looks as if they're happy to see you <laughs> they want a reception that's wonderful i know it's the most enthusiastic they've ever been <laughs> and I've, i was hitting them with my best stuff we had the skeleton going i was dancing the, horse, the horse came out <laughs> nothing you come out hey! <laughs> This shot they just showed, yeah, that was not England. That was the south of France, because the sun never shines in the British Isles. No, that's true. I do. <laughs> I, I have some experience. Did you make Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in the south of France? Well, we had to. It, it, it rained in England every day. We had to go to France. To, right. wow. it, those are vineyards around there. It's not England. No, there's no vineyards in England. A lot of people drinking, <laughs> drinking. <laughs> In England. Look at this. It was lovely. It's in the DVDs and the what, what and the what's the Blu-ray? What's that? I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, I'm here to tell you that yeah, oh, I don't know what it is. Yeah. It, it sparkles more. I guess. Yeah, I think it, it makes your eyes more twinkly. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little bit like whiskey. I think. <laughs> how, are, how are you doing there now? What's this? Tell me about this place, Step in Time. Is this a dance show? Well, it, it, no, it's a, I have a little quartet. Oh, you do? Yeah, three guys about half my age and me. And we just started out singing. Uh, we, we do a lot of fundraising. Right. That kind of thing. And all of a sudden, we're, we're in the theater now. We're, I'm as hot as Betty White right now. Wow. Hey. <laughs> That's right. You know, you know, Betty White got her start on this show. <laughs> She's a nice woman. Do you know Betty? Very well, yeah. yeah. I, I, she's very fond of animals. She's very good with the animals. And, That's uh, right. Yeah, look, do, uh, do you, you, you famously hate animals, don't you, Dick? No, no, I, I have Oh, a you dog. like them, too? I, I have a little dog. Oh, yeah. you have a little dog? Oh, yeah. What kind of dog do you have? I have a white-haired terrier. What, what kind of dog is that, then? Is, uh, uh, he doesn't know. All right, yeah. <laughs> Could you tell me what is in haggis? Yes. Haggis is a delicious Scottish sausage type thing which um, contains mystery meats. <laughs> no, gravel, I, mud. It's, it's the, it's gravel, mud, and disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I, uh, I, God, I, for, I haven't seen this movie in a long... When did you make this film? Ni oh, God, 1967. Good Lord. It's almost, yeah. That is a very now? good film, though. It's it was a, the only one that, uh, you know, it was the James Bond people made it. It was the only uh, musical they ever did. They never made a musical James Bond? That would have been awesome. <laughs> it would have it been. It would have been. <laughs> Your time's up, Goldfinger. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> I mean, you... <laughs> You were very. You did a lot. Well, you did a lot of musicals. You did Mary Poppins and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It, was, it became a big thing for you, the song, song and dance man. Oh yeah. yeah. The, did you ever do that in the theater? Yeah, I did Bye Bye Birdie on Broadway. Oh, of course you did. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. But I didn't know how to dance, and I auditioned and sang a little song. And he said, "Can you dance?" I said, "Sure." <laughs> and I had to go learn to dance fast. But I, I said, "Where's this been all my life?" I, when I finally learned to dance. It's like flying. It's just a, I will love it. Do, do, do you uh, do you fly too? No, no you fly. <laughs> I see. <laughs> learning to fly is a little more difficult than learning to dance. <laughs> I, I mean, I, the, it depends. On, well, if you get dancing wrong, the consequences are not that bad. <laughs> you know, like it's kind of like slight embarrassment. <laughs> you get flying wrong. Oh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> no, that's. Uh, I love your suit. If you don't mind me saying so. It's Glenn Platt. I wore it especially for you yep. because it's Scottish. Is uh, this is this Scottish? Uh, well, it's Glenn Plaid, isn't it? Yeah, is absolutely. It? I can. <laughs> I recognize them all by sight. <laughs> now, was that is that your your? Uh, were you born with that name, Van Dyke? Van Dyke, yes, yeah. That's what is it. that? Dutch? Dutch, yeah, really? or Flemish or something like that. Have you never been over there to, to check it out? Oh, sure. I've been to Amsterdam. I've been to Scotland. Yeah, but Scotland, there's no. You're the only Van Dyke there in Scotland. <laughs> I found out in Scott. I went to the Edinburgh Festival. Oh yes, yes, yes. At a time when the pound went to three dollars, and I ran out of money. I ran out of 
traveler's checks and everything. I walked into this little bank on the high street and said, is there any way a person could cash a personal check? She said, sure, Dick, how much do you need? Wow. I almost fell down. Wow. It, well. In, in Scotland. Absolutely. That was. Well. You know, we, we, we always talked about that man that was in the film with the flying car. <laughs> the flying car. The flying car. Imagine such a thing. You know, the people, the British have been kidding me about my Cockney accent for 40 years yeah, now. It's, it, you know, uh, I, w I wasn't going to bring it up. But... <laughs> you know why? Why? They gave me a, a coach who was Irish, Pat O'Malley. Who Pat O'Malley that? taught you how to do the voice in Mary Poppins? Yeah. That explains everything. Of course. Yeah. That's my excuse. Hey there, diddly day day, Mary Poppins. <laughs> Tim Tim. Uh-oh. <laughs> how do they bleep that out of that? Well, I don't know. How will you bleep that? That'd be interesting, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll, they'll find a way. They do. <laughs> I mean, you never had any problems with the censors and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, did you? I mean, no. the, when it was a play, there was a lot of cussing in it, though. W oh, there was? Nah, I didn't see I the play. Out, I yeah. <laughs> you did say Chitty. <laughs> you probably don't remember Playboy magazine. Oh, sure, I don't. Oh, do, do, uh, <laughs> can you imagine? My name was Grace the page, the Joke Pages of Playboy. Oh, when yeah. you have Dick and Dyke in your name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really put me over the coal. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess you get the, the van in there, it makes the whole thing movable. <laughs> around, yeah. Now, it, the, the Van Dykes were, were a big uh, family in Holland, though, weren't they? Weren't they oh, some kind of aristocratic the, family? They're really? like Smith here. Oh, really? I, went to, I looked in the phone book in Amsterdam, there's pages of Van Dykes. Did you ever just call up and go, Tim Timaru? <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak a word of it. What, of, of Dutch? No. No, it's a very difficult language. It's a bit kind of like... <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's a, a tricky thing. Where do you uh, where do you live now? You live in California? Yeah, right here in Los Angeles. Do you, uh, do you surf? No, not anymore. <laughs> Did no. you ever surf? Because you're down in Malibu, uh, aren't you? I surfed when there were... Remember the 10-inch board? The 10-inch board. Uh, I never forget 10 <laughs> inches. You have to be pretty good. <laughs> ten, 10 foot boards. Ten foot the boards. The old fashioned. Yeah, the big, uh, the long boards. Yeah, that's they used back to have a, a canteen at one end. You know, <laughs> yeah, have a little bar at one end. <laughs> get some chairs. Did you, did you used to longboard then? Oh yeah. Oh. Yep, on the east coast really, at Virginia Beach, places like it's that. It's freezing the water there. Uh, that's correct. I went out once and fell asleep on that board. <laughs> I did, and woke up out of sight of land. Oh, Lord. And I looked around, and I, I started paddling with the swells, and I started seeing ch uh, fins swimming around me, and I thought, you know, I'm dead. They turned out to be porpoises. They pushed me all the way to shore. I'm not kidding. Pushed me all the way to shore. Because, <laughs> because they had seen <laughs> Chitty Chitty Bang. That's right. Even, even the fishes of the sea, Dick. I like, although they were, there was a little bit of cover. We were a bit concerned about you. We were a bit concerned about your accent and Mary Poppins. Hey, hey, Dick. Let's have a quick musical interlude before, uh, right. before you, because we're out of time. But do you fancy a quick blow? What is it? It's a. Uh, <laughs> It's a mouth organ. A mouth organ. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, just, uh, do, do you play? No. Neither do I. But I think I'm going to. Yeah. Let, just imagine it's Broadway, it's the audition, and they've asked, do you play the mouth organ? <laughs> and you can... <laughs> you're actually I'm pretty you're good. good at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I can do you that. can do it! <laughs> Dick Van Dyke, everybody, the last of Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chiru. Da dee dee da do dee da dee da dee do. Chim chimney, 
Jim, 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 Babe. I'm sorry, I have Babe. to go to work. It's okay. It's, would you... Would you talk, talk to me? Do you know how hard it is looking at all those people who do not want the children that they have? And we... Okay, let's talk, talk later, okay? Let's talk later. I love you. I love you, too. I, I love you, too. Please welcome the lovely Carrie Washington, everybody. Sensational. Hey. Is this knitwear? Uh, sure. Wow. It's kind of, it's wooly and it's kind of ripped and then there's wool underneath it like you're trying to yeah. escape from someone bad. Oh, save me, Chris. Yeah, well, all right. Yeah. yeah no, you, you look sensational. I love that. What's that? Bracelet. This, this is a bracelet and nice. a watch. My Movado watch, actually. A what wa a watch? Mm. A Movado. What, what is that? Like it's a special... A, it's a company, and I work oh. with them, so I like to wear their watches. I thought you were an actress. Well, a swell. <laughs> I do some acting on the side, but, but most... mostly I represent Movado watches. Well, hey, you know, do yeah. what you need to do. <laughs> hey, listen, Tyler Perry was here uh, earlier in the week. He was kind of talking a little I bit, heard a smack he was about you. some trash. A little bit. Why was he doing that? Well, he said that when he was directing you in this movie, you, he had to keep telling you to use your indoor voice, use your <laughs> indoor voice. And you were like, ah! Got quite a loud voice. Yeah, you do. Um, I, but in a good, I mean that in a good no, way. No, you in have a quite a loud voice. Oh, I do. Yeah, he said when he was directing you in the movie, no. you had to use your indoor You're voice. You're not in for colored girls? You? What do you mean? What, I'm not in I for... I thought, aren't you like a for colored girl type? I don't know, but I don't know what, I don't understand the reference. <laughs> I feel I'm now in very You're dangerous <laughs> water. <laughs> the name of the movie is, Michael. Yeah. Shut up. I yeah. know what the name of the movie is. I just thought there was some kind of reference that I didn't understand. Um, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. Um, I... Yeah, we'll move on. No, no, no. Stay with it. Explain to me. What, what, what does it mean? The, the movie is about a group of women of color. Well, I got that much. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And I thought maybe you were wanting to share with everybody that you were a woman of color tonight. Oh. <laughs> well, you know? in a way, I am. <laughs> but my color is... Plaid. <laughs> what is that? Well, the movie's about women yeah. that have uh, things happen, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's actually a large dream team kind of cast. Yeah, it's, it's very, very, uh, yeah. Janet Jackson, Tandy Newton, Kimberly Elise, Loretta Devine, Macy Gray. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. go on and on and on, really. Anika Noni Rose, great, great, great cast that mm. somehow I made my way into. Right, sure and then how. what's the movie about? Um, it's about these women who all kind of live in the same building or in the same neighborhood neighborhood or in the same office but they don't really know each other and their lives intertwine and they do they form a team of vigilantes <laughs> and spring somebody from jail and then take on al-qaeda <laughs> well i'm sure it's good anyway yeah, yeah it'd be, be fine could you uh that Tyler Perry, he's an impressive man, isn't he? He is, yes. Wow. And so we were at the premiere, and I was super excited to introduce my mother to him because he's this oh, kind yeah. of, he's the American dream he's personified. A, yeah, he's and a very in impressive man. In the black man. community, he's like our hero. Any, oh. any community. Yeah, yeah. No, any community. And, um, and so I got to introduce my mother to him at the premiere, and he said, wow, your daughter is loud. That's wow. all he said to her. Really? And I was really embarrassed. Did he hurt your feelings? He did. That bastard. <laughs> Well, we should probably write him a letter. Should we? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Mr. Perry. Okay. How do you spell Perry? P. Got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, you should be nicer to Carrie. That's, uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it's a poem. Dear Mr. Perry, you should be, be nicer, nicer to, to Carrie. Carrie. If you don't, I'm going to get scary and kick you in the ass. <laughs> Hey, all the 
kids are doing it, Carrie. Get with it or get gone. <laughs> People love that dance. That's, that's, the, that's the dance you do when you got two dudes in a horse suit <laughs> running. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're a little out of breath there. I am. Yeah. Whoa, man. It's good for the biceps, huh? Sure. I am. Um, <laughs> do you ever dance? Are you a dancer? Of course. Really? No, but of I mean, course. like on stage. I, you know, not on stage. I mean, like on Broadway, that kind of thing. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, no, I meant Broadway. You know, you know. As, a, as a child, I danced all the time to Mary Poppins. This is oh, yeah, crazy no, it's, it's kind to of amazing him. to meet yeah. Dick Van Dyke. I know, I was very excited. Tremendous. He uh, can do a Cockney accent worse than anyone I've ever had. I know. It's, uh, for us, as in the acting community, it's really comforting. Because you know, no matter, no matter how bad you are, you're not going to be that bad. That's right. The accent is... <laughs> and the, the weird thing is, though, as well, though, that... When he does the, does the accent yeah. and it's really bad, yeah. people, even Cockneys, are like, "Oh, I love that film." Yeah, yeah. And they go, That's true. "Yeah, but his accent's really bad." Well, I got a cash. It's big bad joy. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's correct. That's what it is. It doesn't matter. He's, you know, he's amazing. He he's transcends like... logic. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, mm, that's better. Yeah, that was uh, deep. Yeah, yeah. That was deep. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. We're out of time already. You Are we? Even... Yeah, that's No, crazy. let's go longer. Okay. <laughs> I beseech no. you, sir. No woman has ever said that to me before. Wow. 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 Yeah. I thought this was a family show. You thought this was a family show? Yeah, that's what I was told. No, no, no. Not unless your family are... Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We're really out of time. I can't believe it. It seemed to go so fast. It's okay. Well, I was excited. Well, I'm excited that you were excited. <laughs> why don't we do the dance out to the commercial? Oh, okay. I that like sounds it. good. Okay, hold on. I'll just see if... Can I ring that bell? Thing? You can ring my bell. Yes, you can. <laughs> Come on around here. How do I... Come on around. Yeah, go the unlit way. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right down there. Right? Ready? Yeah. yeah. No, just put it oh. underneath. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Look, uh, during the uh, email and tweet segment tonight, Jeff and I had a bit of an argument, and um, we, uh, we've been going to counselling, and, and we've been told that when we argue, you know, the way to... to uh, no, yes, they did say that. They said the way that, we, you know, to get around it is to, you know, say how we feel and not, you know, get mad at each other when, you know, when we're expressing our feelings. So, Jeff, when you interrupted me, I felt that you disrespected me, you bony little... Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I felt, I felt that you weren't paying attention to my needs. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even think you're listening, I just think you're giving pat answers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And yet, even your stony silence somehow attracts me. 